7 First Alert Weather. This is 7 Eyewitness News at 530. Good evening, everyone. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand making a visit to Buffalo today advocating new bipartisan legislation that would allow the use of medical marijuana in states where it is now legal, like here in New York. But right now, patients and doctors could be at risk of federal prosecution. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sarah Johnson has more tonight. This Mother's Day, my son has a 10-year-old friend that he played baseball with. And she went in to get her son up and uh, found him dead in his bed. That Niagara Falls boy battled the same neurological diseases that Buck Williams' son, Thomas, fights each and every day. Unsure if his son will ever receive the treatment he needs, Williams is praying for the best, but preparing for the worst. Every parent's just... It's their worst nightmare, and we're all waiting to see or in fear of being next. Thomas was just four months old when he began suffering seizures. As years went by, the seizing intensified. Williams has tried unsuccessfully to gain access to the cannabis oil doctors say would ease his son's seizures. So far, it's just one brick wall after another. Although medical marijuana is legal in 23 states, including New York, the federal classification of marijuana prevents many doctors from prescribing it. U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand says she is fighting to change that. We need to modernize our laws. Joined by families like the Williams, Gillibrand is pushing for the passage of the bipartisan legislation called the CARES Act. The bill would recognize the states that have already established medical marijuana programs and prevent federal law enforcement from bringing action against patients and doctors in those states. A move Williams says could help his son live a happier, healthier life. Maybe if he never can walk or talk, at least not to see him go through those seizures every day would be a blessing in itself. Senator Gillibrand has garnered support from several other senators in states such as California and New Jersey. The CARES Act would also reclassify marijuana from a Schedule 1 drug to a Schedule 2 drug, which could allow uh, government funding and marijuana research. I'm Sierra Johnson for 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Sierra.